Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we're talking Love and Marriage Huntsville. You guys know why you're here. Today we're talking because Fani unhooked. I uh, shouted me out, apparently, you guys, but I couldn't make out all of what she said. But I, I have some things I do need to say, right? Because if you're going to call me out, can you at least correctly identify what you're calling me out about? C can we do that, right? And if you're going to do a live and spill other people's business, uh, can you actually do that instead of all of these clickbait lives for clicks and views that you're accusing other people of doing? If you're not going to spill the tea, what was the point of the live tonight? make it make sense so she was mad but again instead of saying what you're upset about funny unhooked you went into nothing but insults and cursing didn't know what you were talking about there you're you're, you're trying to speculate on people's lives you're trying to speculate on what people are doing and and what type of homes they have it's giving projection it's giving lots of projection, Fonny Unhooked. It's completely and utterly unnecessary. Articulate your thoughts. So she's upset about my shutdown video that I did, right? But see, what happened, Fonny Unhooked, is you forgot to tell your, you know, your followers, your people, to send you the follow-up video that I did, in which I said that your video was set to private. See what I'm saying? See, see, see how you guys, you jump the gun? and you don't watch everything that people do, I have no problem correcting myself and fact-checking and saying if I was wrong about something. But you seem to do. You seem to think that everything that you say is facts, and you're allowed to provide zero receipts. You're able to provide zero documentation, zero proof of everything, but I am supposed to believe all the words that come out of your mouth. Can you make it make sense? And who's writing hard for who? Why are you the mouthpiece of your daughter and son-in-law? If they're winning, why do you have to keep announcing it? Usually people who are successful, you guys, don't have to keep making the announcement. Usually when you are a multimillionaire, you don't need to brag, you don't need to boast, or any of those things. You don't need to do a video tour of your daughter's house if she's successful. And just because you wear designer labels doesn't mean that you've got money. There's people who live in the hood <laughs> who are driving Escalades and, uh, you know, and wearing knockoffs and all the things. Doesn't mean anything, Fani Unhooked. But if you're going to come for me, come for me for specifically what I said, right? And so like I said regarding the takedown video, you missed the piece where I did the follow-up video where I said your video was set to private, right? But as far as the other stuff, don't put me in that mess because I did not speak about anybody's custody battles or who had custody of Tisha's kids. Didn't speak on that. Didn't speak on all of the other foolishness that you were talking about. Don't let me into no BS, Fonny Unhooked. Don't do that. If you want to talk about the video takedown, we can talk about the video takedown, but also watch my follow-up video in which I said your video was set to private. But don't want me into no other nonsense, Fonny Unhooked. Because I didn't even go full hard on the paint the way I could have on you. I took it light on you. But you were, since you want my attention so bad, you still are quiet on Funky Dineva's comments about your late niece. You still will not acknowledge the disgusting things that he said about that. You still will not acknowledge the disgusting things that you said about Mel's kid's hair and comparing it to your grandkid's hair. You still will not address that. You flip-flop on when you like Martell's mistress, when you don't. When you're cool with them, when you don't. You lied to the people. You're the one that gave uh, Martell's mistress 24 hours to announce whatever it is she's got going on. You were the one that was liking comments on your own platform about them getting married, about all of these things. You were adding to the speculation yourself, Fonny Unhooked. So don't do that. Don't make it as though people just came out of nowhere and, and just made up conspiracies when you lit the match, Fonny Unhooked. You lit the match. But if you're going to come for me, 
come for actual receipts and make sure you watch my follow-up videos because I have no problem fact-checking and correct myself if I have something wrong, unlike several of you guys. So don't do that, Funny and Hook. Don't go there with me because we can go there. But I'm not the one doing clickbait titles. That's all you. You, you all said, oh, 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 the 24 hours is up. That's what you said. And uh, clearly, you still have nothing to tell the people. You still have nothing to tell the people. Again, you're the one who is obsessed with the Holtz. You're obsessed with the entire family. You're obsessed with Mel. You're obsessed with the kids. You're obsessed with Martel. Why? I thought your platform was supposed to be about your cooking and about the positive things that you have going on. But you can never, uh, you know, keep it positive. You always have to go gutter. You always have to insult people. You always have to cuss people out. You never articulate what the issue at hand is. But don't let me into any other BS that was said about anybody else. Don't do that, Fonny and Hooked, or we're going to have a problem. Like I said, if you want to talk about the video takedown, we can talk about the video takedown. But you missed my follow-up video on the video takedown where I said your video was set to private. Uh, are, oh, did you make it public now? Because <laughs> like, 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 we can go there. Because I do have the proof that your video was set to private, Fonny and Hooked. If you want to go there. But don't lie on my name. Don't lie on my reputation. And don't let me into any other rumors that pertain to your daughter and son-in-law that I never said. Because I never said anything about any custody in regards to Letitia's kids. That didn't come from my platform. Or whatever other foolishness you guys got going on over there. But like I said, if you're going to address me, address me with the facts. And if you didn't watch all of my videos pertaining to things, then you look silly. Because again, I have no problem saying if I'm wrong about something or updating a video on clarifying something I previously said. I have no problems doing that. But... You talked out the side of your neck. You got all gully because of a video I had. And you did not listen all the way through. But you claim that you don't come over here, right? You claim you don't watch my content. You claim you don't see anything, right? And, and, and then the, the joke, uh, uh, oh, somebody's miserable, somebody's alone. Well, well, what are you doing, funny and hooked? Why aren't you tending to your, your husband and your boyfriend? Instead of being on live, uh, having to take notes on people, on all these people you supposedly hate. This is not Leo behavior, Fonny Unhooked. Leo behavior is unbothered, Fonny Unhooked. Not stalking all of your quote-unquote haters, as you say, right? But see, the difference between you and me is that none of this is personal. None of this is personal. I don't have to peruse around to all these channels to see what people are saying about people. I don't need to take notes about what people are saying and, and all these other things. Because guess what? I record my videos and I go funny and hooked. I'm not attached to the internet like you are. I'm not on Instagram live doing lives and preview lives and, and, and ahead of my YouTube live like you are funny and hooked. I don't need to do any of that, right? But it's you that is obsessed with the show, Funny and Hooked. It is you that has this love and admiration for Melody Sheree Rogers, Funny and Hooked. Because you can't help yourself, even in the title of your video, you're doing the whole woot woot thing that, that Mel and Marquez apparently have going on, their little back and forth. You cannot get enough. Because you are pissed you still want to be on the show. You want, according to Winter, the minimum of the first offer between the $99 and $250 an episode. You are so desperate for it, and I don't understand. Wouldn't your food truck be making more than that, Funny and Hooked? Wouldn't your YouTube channel be making more than that, Funny and Hooked? But, but you're so obsessed with being a guard dog for your daughter, and, and you're coming at the wrong person. Make it make sense. The things that you were upset about, I didn't even say. You're trying to lump me in with some other BS, and that's where we're going to have a problem. Like I said, if you want to talk about the video takedown video, but you didn't watch the follow-up video, fine, right? But you still didn't watch the follow-up video in which I clarified. But as far as all the other foolishness, I didn't talk about the Zen Cardin's case, didn't talk about the custody, didn't talk about all this other stuff. 
But I did talk about the fact that you do clickbait videos pretending you're going to spill tea and it's a whole lot of nothing. It's a whole lot of BS. But you're claiming to be a truth teller. Well, a truth teller would tell the truth, wouldn't they? They would have to say what they have to say, whether it's somebody else's business or not, because you have no problem telling Mel's business. So, so why all of a sudden are you trying to gatekeep somebody else's business, but you keep throwing out there all of these possibilities? No, 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 no. Either say it or don't say it. But I'm going to need you to articulate your thoughts next time and don't lump me in any other BS, Phonics Unhooked, because the other stuff you were talking about, I didn't report on that. You know what I reported on that, and you purposefully didn't respond to that. But all you know how to do is curse people out and throw insults, which is not godly behavior, which is not winning behavior, Fonny Unhooked. You can read some people down and articulate it without ever uttering one curse word. But see, that's the difference between me and you. Because I don't go trying to attack people's looks or attack people's whatever. I stick to the issue at hand. And the issue at hand is you're never keeping the same energy. You have all this smoke for all these other people, for all this other nonsense, but you never articulate what actually the issue is. And then you lump the wrong people in to your actual issues. Just say your issue is with Mel that you cannot get back on the show. And and that's really what it is. That is the bottom line. You cannot get back on the show. So you feel your big revenge, your big one is going on all these lives, spilling all this tea about what did or didn't happen on this girl's trip, trying to vindicate your daughter. But you keep saying your daughter can fight her own battles. Well, if she can fight her own battles, why won't you let her find a unhook? Why won't you? That's what I want to know. But, but instead, you keep going so hard trying to prove something to the people. And why can't you let her do her thing? If she can do it all by herself, right? That, that's what you said. But you continue to be her mouthpiece whether you're on the show or not. So clearly some people have hit a nerve. Because like I said, if you're so unbothered, if everybody's so successful and multimillionaires, you wouldn't care what people are saying. You wouldn't be reacting and having to take notes on all these other people's videos that you didn't address, by the way. You just decided to just lump one person into all of it, into things that I didn't even say. So that tells me right there that you didn't even fully watch my video or my follow-up videos into what I said, right? And clearly you're not familiar with my channel because Love of Mary Tonsville isn't the only thing I discuss, right? And I discuss everybody because didn't you guys say there's an it's an ensemble cast last I check? So make it make sense on who's going too hard for who. Because it would seem that it's you that has the obsession with Mel. It seems that it's you that is writing very hard for Mel. And it's completely and utterly, you know, unnecessary. You're not on the show anymore. Accept it. But don't take it out on people that have nothing to do with this. Like I said, for me, it's never personal. It's for entertainment purposes only. But clearly for you, it is personal. Clearly for you, you cannot handle any criticism, any critique. But then when you want to throw other people under the bus to make yourself feel better, it's okay. When you want to haul out insults and go below the belt against other people, it's okay. When you want to say things about other people that are not true, it's okay. You don't know me. You don't know my life. You don't know my situation, right? But that's your go-to whenever you feel bothered by somebody. But I'm going to need you to back away from the internet for a few days, try again, get all your receipts together, and then press your button. But like I said, don't let me into the other BS. And like I said, please watch my follow-up video, Funny Unhooked, where I said literally the next day that your video was not taken down, that it was set to private. But see, you would know that if you would stop flying off the handle and reacting without having all of the receipts and all of the facts about something. But again, don't let me into the other BS. Don't do that.
funny and hooked because again never spoke on custody of who had custody of tisha's kids never spoke on the zen gardens lawsuit didn't speak on you know whatever the settlement or whatever uh has taken place or the, the dismissal or whatever never did a video on it so nonetheless please have your stuff together if you're going to properly address me you guys but don't just be talking out the side of your neck and trying to have a go at me for clicks and views but you don't have all of your facts together because that's not going to work and like i said if you're going to articulate something what your issue is with me articulate it and don't hurl out insults because i'm not going to go back and forth and hurl out insults that's not what we're going to do but funny and hooked i'm going to need to understand what your actual issue is if you're not going to tell me the actual issue is how is there supposed to be resolved can you make it make sense but don't insert me into the other foolishness that you've got issues about don't want me into that nonsense either say what you have to say and articulate the actual person who said such things don't just lump one person into all of it and i had nothing to do with the other stuff don't do that funny unhooked but uh nonetheless uh there is that please let me know your guys's thoughts in the comments please do not forget to like comment and subscribe Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.